downhill season for me and Steven ended at the end of the summer. However, Downhill Southeast posted about a special event at a new bike park called Ride Rock Creek. Unfortunately for us, we came up Friday, which was right behind Hurricane Ian. So it was quite a wild scene when we pulled up in the parking lot. We're supposed to park up in this upper deck where Jack's van's coming from, but we would just have to stay close to the fence. It was kind of funny, as we walked up to registration, the thing that came to mind was downpour southeast. There, I got you. All right. I know, it's just about to reach the ground like, nope. Thank you, sir. My shoulder, appreciate it. The rain had stopped Friday night, but Saturday the track was still pretty muddy. I'm not very comfortable in the mud, and normally I run Asagai both front and back, or some combination of DHF, DHR, and Asagai. I've been carrying around mud tires for over a year now, and Jack finally urged me to put them on, so I ended up running a shorty front and back, and the traction was amazing. I've never felt more comfortable in the mud before. Ride Rock Creek is supposed to open, I believe at the end of December. It's located just down the road from Hendersonville. And if you've ever been to Canuga Bike Park, it's not too far away. You can also get to Brevard pretty easy. You can pretty much draw a triangle between Asheville, Ride Rock Creek, and Brevard. Ride Rock Creek was started by Nico Malali. Nico also started Canuga Bike Park. This test event was a great pairing with Downhill Southeast. I felt like we were able to work out a number of kinks about not only the park, but transportation and just operationally how things go. The school buses, by the time Sunday rolled around, really operated a lot better. They had figured out the right, uh, I guess, sort of either gearing or shifting uh, to not overheat the buses. And I felt like things were running pretty smooth by Sunday. I know they still have a lot of work to do. I did see a number of other trails as we were riding. However, we only actually rode the race course. I know they had an Enduro Southeast event here a few weeks ago. So I'm assuming that there must be other trails that are ready to go. The bike park says that it'll be open sometime in December. So I would assume after the first of the year, you should be able to add Ride Rock Creek into your Southeast downhill plans. I'm pretty excited to have another shuttle lift access park. Uh, Steven lives at Winrock and we spend quite a bit of time at Winrock. So this will give some good variety. Um, having a dedicated bike park that's open year round really opens up the options. We do go to both Beach and Sugar. Uh, however, they turn into ski slopes during the winter. So the season is pretty limp.
I hope you enjoyed getting a sneak peek at Ride Rock Creek. I ended up getting seventh place in this test event in the Cat 2, Cat 3. If I can wrangle Steven's video away from him, which basically means having him download it from his GoPro, I'll post his Cat 1 race run, which he got fourth place in. It's got a pretty gnarly road gap. Hope you enjoyed the video. Punch it! Go, go!